Hello and welcome to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the second game of this best of three series. Uh, yeah, second game. The score is going to go to the advantage of Ted, who is going to be spawning as the yellow undead player in the uh, top right position of the map, Secret Valley. And his opponent is going to be Fly 100%, the purple orc player. And yeah, this is the battle for third and fourth place of the IET uh, tournament that was played on April. Yes, it is April. I, For a brief moment of time, I had the description say that IET was on March. I don't think it was on March. Was it? Maybe the website did say it was on March, but the replays came out on April. I'm, I got very confused at the time, so... I'll just say uh, I'll just say April. If it's March, then it's March. I'm wrong completely. But if it's April, then it's all good. Um, anyway, back to this back to this series. I'm getting off topic like I generally do. Blade Master out. Uh, Blade Master first for fly. Now I know I said that Blade Master is generally a very strong pick compared to the Farseer. Um, didn't really show that well in game one. But that's just because Ted was overly aggressive um, than normal undead players would do. And once again, Ted is going to go for that graveyard before the Tomb of Relics. Um, some undeads do this, but generally they have tended to go away from this, I guess. Um, maybe it's just a matchup thing, and undeads would generally go for the graveyard first. But. You know, other matchups we see undead players going for the Tomb of Relics and then the Graveyard, um, able to get the third ghoul in a reasonable amount of time and then relatively early Graffine, but nope, uh, this is where we see Ted producing his first Graffine already. His Death Knight is not even out yet, um, but yeah, the first Graffine will be able to pop out soon, uh, very now, or right now, but, and, what else? What else can he do? Not sure, really. Maybe deal some damage to this peon. I'm pretty sure that's not as effective or efficient use of time, I don't think. The Blame Master could possibly jump him. Uh, pushing himself one circle of nobility, a second circle of nobility, and he's going to go after the Ogre Magi right now. Um, maybe a Tome Trapper as well. Who knows what he will get. I mean, you could. there is a possibility of getting the Tome of Experience. Um, but he is not going to try, he's just going to pick up the item and get away safely. Death Knight has uh, popped out and moving towards the gold mine on the left, so Ted wanting to clear out this Ogre Magi camp. Meanwhile, Fly, uh, he is going to be clearing out the ground units of this Fountain of Health's creep camp. Meanwhile, over there, Ted has indeed started the Ogre Magi camp. Not going to be too difficult, I would imagine. Ted able to just spawn another two skeletons if needed. And Fly will reach level 2. He's already picked himself a plus 2 ring of protection from this camp, as well as the full 15 second vulnerability potion from the Ogre Magi in the beginning. The Red Drake will not be dealt with. Um, so. All Fly's gonna do is just run away, drop aggro, maybe heal up back there again, but well, he is in reasonable health. He could possibly go for harassment or just con continual creeping with this Ogre Magi camp. So he'll probably be very close to level 3. I, w I would be very surprised if he actually hit level 3 after this camp, but it is possible. Plus 9 close of attack, very good item for the Blade Master. Hell, hell this. Um, is a very good start compared to game one. Um, already the Blade Master's got a reasonable amount of damage. He has about plus 10. Um, no, plus, plus 13. I thought he got a plus 6 for some reason, but plus 13 uh, attack. That's with those circlets as well. Um, he's well off, I guess. Uh, also, the data is nearly completed. We do have the slaughterhouse yet to be placed okay, down, actually. So, rather interesting take Ted's going for. 
we usually see the sword house being placed down either now at the latest but um, Ted's been going more production on crypt fiends actually so yeah that's what he's gonna go for um, not sure if that's the wisest of decisions but seeing as this, how this blade masses looks more reliable with his um, just normal attacks I guess more crit fiends is always nice to have um, we have a bunch of grunts actually moving out to try and interrupt this creeping session um, Blame Master is at level 3 so he does have the level 2 win walk as we do see the 70 bonus damage from that um, those appearance will be used to try and spot out the Blade Master. He will be forced to run away. Meanwhile, Fly back at his base is getting once again the Turin Chieftain. We did see how deadly he can be with the excellent war stomps that Fly was able to get. Now they has a Blade Master actually doing damage. Maybe, just maybe, that combo will work a little better. But as of right now, the Death Knight, um, unless he's being focused down himself. Uh, has no problems of keeping his other units alive. Uh, maybe Fly needs to realize this. Don't know if he does. He's going for a Great Hole instead. So Orcs going for Expand. Rather interesting that we see that actually. I mean, we usually see that if someone's going for Double Beast Theory into Mass Raiders or maybe wide, uh, Wyverns or Wind Riders, whatever you want to call them. But yeah. Um, he's going for just mass raiders right now with Turin Chieftain as the second. Actually, let me reset the frame rate. It's stuck at 40. Okay, there we go. I guess not. Are you going to stay there? There you go. Okay. Um, it's maybe not noticeable in YouTube since it's limited to 30 FPS anyway. Um, it is kind of noticeable to me, so I would appreciate it if I actually watched it at full 60. Frost Armor has been trained up from the Lich that has been uh, popped out rather early as well. So Black Citadel has yet to be completed so no Orb of Corruption whatsoever. Sword House has now been completed actually so the statues are now producing. But Fly, his expand has been spotted. It is half, half destroyed, half completed. Well it's actually fully completed but it is half destroyed. Uh, the Blade Master needs to pick the correct selection of targets right now since the Frost Armor can just really screw that Blade Master up. Um, Death Coil will be able to heal him, heal the focused uh, Graffined back up. And there we go with the Wall Stomp as well. Burrow is going to be utilized to try and keep that guy alive. Actually, is going to be used to all of those script fiends that require just that little bit of assistance. Uh, there we go with the snare on the obsidian statue. Ah, Fly's got this. He can attack someone that can't borrow and will be able to destroy the obsidian statue despite the frost armor. Uh, the blade master, raiders, and turn chieftain orcs. Basically, all of those units have been affected by that frost armor. You can see it right there. Attack speed, movement speed, just just the essential parts has been taken away from them. Raider looks like he's going to be taken down um, and that's generally not good. Fly needs to have as many units as he can possibly have because he is down actually. 44 versus 39 never mind he's not down. I would imagine that I was actually surprised that he's not down. I mean he's expanded um, meanwhile Ted's been sitting on one base and he has not even considered expanding um, a town is under siege. and yet he under has not overtaken in supply which is rather surprising uh, Ted was supply blocked for a little while now he's not so maybe he'll eventually outnumber his opponent Blade Master is going to get himself that uh, invulnerability potion right there does appearance as well to try and just finish off these script fiends another war storm very nicely done actually uh, from Fly Another Crypt Fiend will be taken down by the Blade Master. And will we see the damage in action? Orb of Corruption has been added to the Lich's inventory, so he will be able to reduce the armor of uh, the Orc units. And Fly will actually be losing himself that expand. Ted 
almost catching up in supply. Hopefully he will be able to um, overtake his opponent. But as of right now, Tid is looking very good. Um, Fly doesn't really know what to do. I mean, he's going for the same strat. Um, and it's not working apparently, so he needs to find some other alternative to doing things. He didn't even get that Ogre Magi. The Death Knight was able to Death Coil it and secure it for himself. Ted will lose himself another Obsidian Statue, but I mean, that's fine. Uh, Ted does have the ability to just rebuild that unit. 39 versus 46. Fly is still ahead in supply. It's probably that Coda Beast. It's probably these two Coda Beasts, actually. I'm surprised that Fly has two Coda Beasts, but um, double Coda, uh, double Kodos generally means double Devour, so yeah, I guess that's kind of good. It will take down two of these Crypt Fiends out of the battle and yeah, just slowly kill it off. Nagasi, which coming out as the third and final hero of uh, Ted right now. Dust Appearance has been used, and that has been used on the Orc army, I believe. Well, now Dust Appearance has been used on both sides. We do have the Blade Master using that invulnerability potion. He did take quite a bit of a beating. Nagasi, which, thanks to that Frost Armor, is able to negate a lot of damage from that Blade Master, but um, so far, this is not looking good for Fly, actually. Despite the very good War Stomps, Ted is slowly killing his opponent and able to kill off the Blade Master level 3. Turn Chieftain did reach level 2. What will he get? Will he get himself the Endurance Aura? Will he get himself that Shockwave? He, he needs the Endurance Aura, actually. He can't.